Hello everyone, this is the Earth Science Reference Table Review and today's topic is Relative Humidity and from the reference table you can see Relative Humidity it has a percentage sign that means telling you the percentage of something and you can also see the keyword temperature that means also related to temperature so what is Relative Humidity actually? so you have air, let's say we have air here this is a pocket of air and here you have some moisture content moisture so really it is nothing but the percentage of moisture you have in the air at a certain temperature and why it's important it's important because the more moisture you have in the air that means it's more likely to rain and that's why uh, relative humidity is important also think about um, daily life if I say oh the temperature is very humid what it means if it's humid you feel that sticky hot weather so for example if you look at this table let's say the temperature is uh, 20 degrees celsius remember this is in degrees celsius so if in, in fahrenheit we can say this is around 80 degrees if it's 80 degrees and you can see we can have a 91 percent the real humidity is 91 percent that means you'll feel that hot and sticky weather and on the other hand you can also have a very low temperature for example it could be a negative 2 which is roughly 30 degrees if it's 30 degrees and you can see uh, you can have as low as 1 percent humid humidity okay so that means what you can have that dry skin condition because the relative humidity is very low okay and every day um, the relative humidity changes why it changes if we look at this table we can actually figure it out let's say as I said let's say today's temperature is 20 which is roughly 8. 80 degrees in Fahrenheit and you can see the real humidity can be 100% 100% is 100% means when it's 100% it is going to be raining it's very high chance of rain and also you can see it can change you can see these are all relative humidity and you can see it can be as low as 5% so every day the real humidity can, can change so based on what based on the temperature Okay, and it's also based on the moisture content. So if you have less moisture, you'll have a different humidity. And also it depends on dew point. If you haven't watched my video on dew point, please watch it. This is the first part when we when I talked about dew point because that's also important. And dew point is also related to your um, relative humidity or RH. Okay, um, so let's look at um, some of the questions um, that came in regions. So we had the base, we have the basic idea. We know what's um, really humidity and why it changes. What are some factors that um, change the relative humidity? So let's look at this book. So the first question I have uh, is: A parcel of air has a dry bulb temperature reading sixteen degrees. And a wet bulb temperature reading 13 degrees what is the relative humidity so dry bulb is 16 and wet bulb is 13 so let's do this question so the dry bulb it says 16 so this is the column for dry bulbs and i know this is 16 okay and the wet bulb temperature it says is um, 13 okay but be careful this is not the wet bulb temperature this is the difference between wet bulb and dry bulb so let's write it here I know that this dry bulb is 16 and the wet bulb is um, 13 this is the difference between wet bulb and dry bulb so I know 16 is dry bulb 13 is wet bulb so what's the difference the difference is 3 it's just asking about the difference so if you subtract 13 from 16 that's 3 you can also subtract 16 from 13 that will give you negative 3 but it's just the difference we are not talking about negative or positive it's just the difference which is 3 so if its difference is 3 this is the difference 3 so now let's see what's the answer now so if you go down going down here you can you can see it's 71 so we just stop here and you figure out oh okay so the relative humidity is 71 percent so it's high and you can see that's answer is the three okay so that's how you find relative humidity 
All right, so let's look at a different question. Uh, let's say question number three. A parcel of air has a dry bulb temperature of 18 degrees Celsius and a wet bulb temperature 10 degrees Celsius. What are the dew point and relative humidity? I told you before that relative humidity is also related to dew point. So please watch the video on dew point if you haven't. So we have to find uh, dew point and relative humidity. So we know the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature. So let's see how can I find um, relative humidity and dew point. So the dry bulb temperature is 18. So let's mark it uh, here, which is 18. And also I have to mark it here because I have to find the dew point as well. So which is 18, let's mark it here. Now it says um, the wet bulb temperature is 10. So let's write 18 here, 18 here. Sometimes you, we tend to make mistakes. It's better if we write this number so we clearly see what's the answer. So 18 and 10, so I know the difference is eight, right? So for eight, let's mark eight here. Let's mark eight here. Let's first find the relative humidity. So if it's 18 and the difference is eight, I can start with eight and keep going down for 18 i can say this is 33 so let's mark uh 33 here and for eight if it is 18 let's go down and you can see this is two so for d point it's the temperature so two degree celsius is the temperature because d point is in temperature so that's two and 33 and you can see our answer 2 and 33. If you don't do it carefully, sometimes people choose negative 2. Okay, so be careful with this number. So that's about question 1 and 2. So we'll look at some other questions as well. For example, uh, let's look at question number 9. Um, so the data will represent some of the weather condition at a New York State location on a winter morning. So you can see air temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, relative humidity is 81%. What's the difference between the temperature and what was the dew point at this time? So they're asking several questions actually. So first of all, we have to figure out what's the difference of temperature. The information that I have is air temperature is 0 and relative humidity is 81. So let's first find out what is, where is that? Okay, um, so first of all, I know that it is um, zero. Air temperature, or the dry bulb temperature is zero, which is here. Okay, and the relative humidity is 81, so which is here, right? The dry bulb is zero and the relative humidity is 81. If it is 81, I can figure out the difference between wet bulb and dry bulb, which is one. Okay, so this is one. The difference of temperature, so I figured out the difference of temperature, which is one. That's the first part. And the next asking, what was the dew point at this time? Remember the temperature, the dry bulb temperature hasn't changed. It is still zero. So we can go back and we can mark uh, from our dew point chart that um, the temperature is still zero. We figured out the temperature difference, difference between the dry bulb and the wet bulb, which uh, is one. So let's look at that one. So this is one. So now we can use the chart so we can go down and see what happens at zero. I can see this is negative three. Okay, so that means the dew point is at negative three degrees Celsius. And from this choices, you can see this is the three. All right, so that's how we can answer um, this question. And let's look at another um, question which came in, I believe in 2003 and 2008, I think. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but anyway, this question came in regions. So below, uh, Base your answer to question 10 on the graph below, which shows the, cha uh, the changes in relative humidity and air temperature during a spring day in Washington, D.C. So 10A, it's saying which statement best describe the relationship between um, relative humidity and air temperature as shown by the graph. So if you look at this graph, first of all, you need to understand what this graph is about. You can see this is for relative humidity and you can see this is from 40 to 80 so 40 percent to 80 percent this is the relative humidity on the other side you have the air temperature which is from negative 4 to 16 and this uh, line is for relative humidity and for this dashed line you can see this is for air temperature and this one um, the x-axis 
we can say this is from midnight to midnight this is telling you the time so that's all we know about this um, chart so now let's look at the question which statement best describe the relationship between relative humidity and air temperature as shown by the graph so first option is saying relative humidity decreases as air temperature decreases is this true let's find it out so we can see relative humidity if you go this way it is increasing because we started um, somehow uh, somewhere around 60 and now it's increasing getting close to 70 so relative humidity is increasing and oh no so this is asking relative humidity decreases so let's see where it's decreasing so we can start and look at here and see this part it shows the decrease so if this part is showing the decrease and you can see for the same part if I draw a line here you can see from for this part from here to here the air temperature actually increasing right for I used only I only looked at this part okay and from this part you can see the relative humidity is decreasing and the air temperature actually increasing I only looked at this part not the whole graph okay so so this is not right because it's saying relative humidity decreases as the air temperature decreases. So let's see our condition. I can see is if the relative humidity decreases, the air temperature is actually increases. So let's look at the second option. It says relative humidity decreases. Yes, it is decreasing and air temperature increases. Yes, that's correct. So it is most li more likely the answer is two, but we can also see the other options. Relative humidity increases as air temperature increases. So let's look at some portion where um, where your relative humidity increases. So from here to here, let's say I look at only this part. So here you can see it increasing, but air temperature you can see it is actually decreasing. Okay, so that's not right. And relative humidity remains the same as temperature decreases. It's not uh, staying the same. Maybe for one point it was same. At uh, ten, it's the same, right? You can see relative humidity and um, air temperature that touches here that means yeah for only for this part that's true but if you look at the whole thing it's not true so the answer is two and let's look at another question what were the relative humidity and air temperature at noon on this day so we're looking at noon so if it's noon you are here somehow here this is your relative humidity so this is more likely 45, 46, or here we have 47. So it must be 47 relative humidity. So I can cross out two and four right away because I know this two cannot be right. Okay, so 47, now I have to check if it is 32 and 48. So if I'm here, you can see this is um, roughly, if I draw a line, it's roughly um, zero, I can say. So zero degrees Celsius, what will be in Fahrenheit? If you use your reference, our earth science reference table, you will find out that if it's zero, it should be close to uh, 32, okay? So that's how I know that this is 32, because 48, that's um, that's not zero, okay? We, we can look at the table and you'll find it out. So, okay, this answer is 47% and 32. And at which time would the rate of evaporation most likely the greatest? So evaporation most likely the so remember when the relative humidity is high that means if you know that um, the dew point and relative humidity that means you will have the condensation when it is more likely to rain but when it is evaporation that means your relative humidity is low okay that means if it's low that means you're gonna have evaporation so what time you're gonna have uh, more evaporation that means when the relative humidity is very low so you can see at four your relative humidity is very very low okay so if it's very very low that means there is a high chance that it is um, evaporation okay so low humidity means you have uh, more evaporation and if you have uh, more humidity there is a chance of condensation we'll, um, I talked about this uh, when I talked about dew point because they are related okay so this is all about um, some of the regions questions so I hope that you have some good ideas about relative humidity and if you watch my video previous video that's on dew point so that's it guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye